Hello, my name is Diane Schuster. In this demonstration, I'm going to show you how to configure a package that uses CozyRock's Dataflow Task Plus to dynamically map the columns from an entity in Dynamics CRM Online, also known as Dynamics 365, to a SQL Server table. I've already set up both of the connection managers. Here's the one for the Dynamics CRM source or Dynamics 365 source. It is uh, online. And here's the one for the SQL Server table. I'm using the OLEDB connection manager here. So we'll start out by finding Dataflow Task Plus and dragging that onto the Control Flow canvas. I'm going to right mouse click on the task and go down to Properties so that I can set Delay Validation to True. Now I'm going to go over to the Dataflow Canvas and I will find the Dynamics CRM Source component, which is a Cozy Rock component. And I'm going to use the regular editor first, so I just double click on it and I choose the connection manager I just showed you. And the actual entity that I want to copy over is called contact. But contact has a lot of columns and as you know to set up a dynamic data flow, I have to remove all of the statically defined columns and replace them all with a single thunk column. So I'm going to initially configure the component using an entity that only has six columns in it so that I don't have so many columns to delete. So it is called Entity Key. And then before I complete the configuration, I'm going to go back and uh, change this to the actual entity that I want to copy data over from. So now I go to the columns and you can see the six columns there. I'm going to close the regular editor and now use the advanced editor. So I right mouse click on the component and select show advanced editor. Also while I'm here, I need to set validate external metadata to false. And now I'll go to the input and output properties. And I'm going to just change the first column here to thunk underscore column and then I'll remove the other five columns. Do it again under the output columns. Now I need to go back to the column mappings so that the external thunk column gets mapped to the output thunk column. And now I'm going to go back to the component properties and choose the actual entity that I want to work with, which is contact. All right, so now we're done configuring the source component. Now I'm going to use the OLEDB destination component that is a standard uh, SSIS component for my destination. So first I'll use the standard editor so that I can select the table easily. And that is called the contact table. And that's all I can do here. Here I'll show you there is no data in this table right now. So I'll close the regular editor and I right mouse click on the component and select show advanced editor. I'll go to component properties first and set validate external metadata to false. Now I'll go over to the input and output properties. I'll expand the external columns. Change the first one to thunk underscore column. And then I'll delete the other columns. And as you can see, I'm not copying over all of the columns from the uh, contact entity. I just selected a handful of them. So those are all the columns we need to get rid of. Now I do need to go back to the column mappings so that 
Thunk column gets mapped to thunk column from the input column to the destination column. Now I'll go back to the control flow canvas and I'll double click to open up the standard task editor. I'll click on the dynamic tab and I'm going to enable dynamic capabilities for the source and for the destination. Now we're ready to execute the package. I'm going to save it first. All right, and it was successful. I'm going to stop debugging. And now I'll go over to Management Studio and show you that our data has been copied for the contact entity. If you'd like to follow Cozy Rock on social media, here's how you can do that. Thank you for watching.